Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to my How to Build series where I show you to build cool stuff inside of Minecraft. And today's video is going to be the first ever undetectable base build. Because if you did not know, a few days ago I uploaded a three undetectable base entrance video. And I asked you guys in that video if you'd like me to build the entire base itself the next time I did a secret entrance. And a lot of you guys wanted me to do it. So here is the first ever one. It's going to be an underwater secret base. Now, if you don't want to see the entire base build, that's absolutely fine. I'll have a timestamp go across right when we end enter the secret entrance so you can get right to the entrance itself and then build your own base if you would like to however if you want to build the entire base or even just see the base itself that's absolutely great as well the video is going to be a lot longer though so let's go ahead and get started with this thing now my secret base is right over here inside the water so all I have to do is just jump down here and if I come right down here and I think I missed it actually where <laughs> oh there it is so all we have to do is come right here and fall right inside of our secret base like that so like I said there will be a timestamp going across right now if you want to get right to the tutorial of the secret entrance and you don't care about the base now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the base stuff so this chest right here hooks up to an auto sorting system so if you don't want to enter your base and you just want to drop off some stuff that you grabbed and you just want to get out right away all you have to do is go inside the chest throw in let's say dirt or cobblestone and it will funnel all the way down into our auto sorting system down there you can fill up your auto sorting system with whatever you'd like mine's quite small actually so you can put some better stuff in there and you can make it as long as you want you can make it as long as you want mine's quite small so we're gonna go right down into our base now so now that's the auto sorting system and here is the base itself so right over here is where my items are getting auto sorted so as you can see the dirt is funneling in here and then next up the cobblestone will funnel in here and i just have a few items over here. you can make this thing way longer it's, it's just the same thing repeated over and over again and you have all the room in the world to work with so if you want to make this thing way longer you can absolutely do that and then these chests over here actually do matter this is just for stuff that doesn't belong inside your auto sorting system you don't want it to get backed up so the items will funnel into these chests right here once all these chests are filled though then it's going to start getting backed up so just make sure you have way more than enough backup space at the end of your auto sorting system then right over here we have a few furnaces to cook our stuff i was going to do auto furnace cookers but then you lose the experience and i don't see the point in losing your experience so i just decided to throw in a couple furnaces back here over here we have our anvil room to repair our stuff and then right here in the middle we have a couple of brewing stands with an infinite water source right below it to the left of that we have our auto armor equipper so if i come right down here i've shown this thing quite well i've shown this thing quite a lot so we come right here flip down this lever and we'll be auto equipped with all of our armor as you can see i just put on diamond armor and i got a diamond sword so once the light is off that means there's no armor in it now if we want to put our armor back in all you have to do is flip it up make sure the light is on then just take your armor and throw it right back in so just throw it straight at the lever and it'll go right back in to your auto armor equipper so if you wanted to equip it again flip it down and you'll be auto armor equipped once again next up right at the middle we have an enchantment room with different level enchants so the first one's going to be level 10 when we flip down this lever we'll get level 10 enchants so if i come in here and place in my sword as you can see we have a level 10 enchants right there next up if we want level 20 enchants all we have to do is just flip down the middle lever place in our sword and now we will have level 20 enchants and then next up if we flip over the right one we will have full on level 30 enchants right there and then last but not least, if you noticed, there's no bed down here. That's because I felt the bed would just look ugly down here. So I decided to put it right back here in a little secret entrance right behind these brewing stands. So if we jump up and come back here, there is my secret bed. I have a few jukeboxes down here. My ender chest is in here as well. So I can put in all my diamonds and my gold and all the good stuff that I want. No one else to absolutely never get. And then right behind that, I just have a golden apple on the wall and a pair of elytra. Now, I know people get upset when I say elytra, elytra. Elytra, whatever you want to call it, guys, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to keep calling it Elytra because that's just what I call it. Other people call it that too. If you want to call it Elytra, you're absolutely fine. If you want to call it Elytra, I don't care. It's not a real word. <laughs> so let's go ahead and leave this area. And that is the entire base build. And I think I did a pretty good job on these lights too. These lights look absolutely amazing so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the tutorial like i said there was a timestamp for right at the beginning so if you just want to do the secret entrance you don't have to do the entire base build but this video i'm going to be doing the entire base build so let's get right into it all right guys so first things first we're going to be using that falling sand bug this does work on pc as well if you did not know if you place sand on top of a fence gate or a fence post it will just stay there and you can walk right through it so let's go like that and boop boop boop, boop, boop and just make sure your sand is falling down on it like so and now we can walk right through that sand but be careful guys if you place in i think it's about 20 of them it will actually glitch out your game and make it so sand can never fall again <laughs> it's actually pretty cool uh it will only happen on certain sections of the map if you're playing on xbox one on 360 it'll just completely destroy gravitation inside your world so just be careful 
only do it to around 19 i mean uh 18 blocks if you do any more than that then it's going to break the gravity inside your world <laughs> so we're going to come right over here and we just got to find an area where we want to put our secret base so for this all we need is sand and we're also going to need some fence gates as well so where are my fence gates any fence gate will do so let's go ahead and just use birch who cares like i said anyone will do so i want mine to go let's say over ba, 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 ba. let's put it over here just make sure it's a pretty good amount underneath of the water and then just pick any two sand blocks that you really want to choose so now before i do this i'm gonna go ahead and put on my helmet right here i have respiration three on it so i could see underwater just a little bit better now we can see a lot better here you can go ahead and do respiration as well i just want to make sure that you guys could see the tutorial absolutely fun so i want to put mine right right here so the first one to the left hand side we have to make sure it's two blocks we're gonna go ahead and break down three blocks right here one two three and place a fence gate sideways going towards uh, just make sure they're both facing sideways like that we just have to make sure both of them are facing exact way if you have one facing that way and one facing this way it won't work so make sure you face them both the same way and then right next to this fence gate we're just going to dig down two one two and place another fence gate in like so Next up, we're going to dig one block underneath the lowest fence gate. So dig down one block underneath the lowest fence gate. This is just so we can jump out when we're inside of our secret base. So we just come right here, jump up, and we're able to get right out of the water. Now, right above our fences, we're going to go ahead and place in some sand. So make sure you place it one block above it. So come one block above it and place it and make sure it falls on top of it like that. Same thing here. Make sure it falls down. And now what we have to do is just hide it up a little bit over here by placing in a few more sand blocks like that. And there we go. So now if I come right here... I'll go right down into my secret base. So if all you wanted to do was learn how to build the secret entrance itself, then you are absolutely done. And the blocks are going to keep moving a little bit here and there. However, once you reload your world, it will stop moving like that. So don't worry. So if you want to just build the secret entrance and now do whatever you want to, you can go ahead and leave the world. But if you would like to learn how to build that entire base, we're going to go ahead and jump into that right now. All right, guys. So now it's time to get started on the base itself. So we're not going to worry about any of the redstone. We're just going to dig out the main area and we're going to dig down as well to get to that main area. So to start things off, we have to dig down eight blocks. So one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next up, we have to dig that way until we can see three blocks below our feet. So one, two, now we can see two, and then three like that. Now from over here, we're going to dig out one more. So now there should be a total of four, but now we're going to go this way and this way. So we need a total of 13 blocks right here along this wall. So we already have one right here in the middle. So then we have to go that way six. And that way six so one two three four five six and then six that way so one two three four five six just like that now we're gonna have to go that way 14 blocks so counting the first block go that way 14 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks this way. And we're going to do the same thing on this side as well. Go that way, 14 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now everything should hook up. If we go right over this way, we should hook up to that other side right over here. Boom. Just like so. So now we have a 13 by 14 spacing next up for the ceiling we're going to have to dig up six blocks counting from the bottom where we are so one two three four five six so i'll count one more time one two three four five six now what we have to do is dig out this entire area up six and to every single one of these corners. I'm gonna speed up the video here, of course. So all you have to do is just pause the video and then go ahead and just dig out this entire area. And then once you're done, you can either skip ahead through the video or you can just watch me do it, but I'm gonna just speed through it right now. So remember, we have to dig out this whole area, a 13 by 14 spacing and up six. All right, guys, so here's the 13 by 14 spacing and from the flooring to the ceiling is six. Next up, take out birch planks and we're gonna fill in the entire floor with some birch planks. We might have to dig out this area a little bit just so we can get back inside of here. Yep, and just fill in the entire floor with your birch planks. Now that our floor is in, let's go ahead and get started up on our walling. So starting off right here where our archway is, where we go out of our secret entrance, we're going to come up four spruce wood on both sides. One, two, three, four. Same thing on this side. One, two, three, four. Four, then place
Next up, take out your dark oak planks and then just bring dark oak planks right along this area, hiding everything up back there like this. Now over here to the right hand side is where our auto sorting system is going to be going. So to start things off, let's go ahead and take out some chests and we're also going to need trap chests as well. Then we're going to go ahead and go chest, chest, then trap, chest, trap, chest, 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 trap, chest, trap, chest, all the way down until we reach right there. There should be one little gap right at the end here and we're going to do it one more time right above them with another row of chests. Now, like I said, if you want to make it way longer, you absolutely can if you want to make it longer that way. But if you want to build the base the exact same way I did, you can go ahead and do that. And then at the end, when we are completely done with the base, you can go ahead and make any changes that you would like to. However, now comes the fun part. We do more digging. <laughs> so yeah, I lied. That's not the fun part at all. So now we're gonna have to go out five blocks to the back of these chests. Now I like to just open up the entire thing because we are gonna have to go this high. Uh, you know what? Yeah, just go out five blocks to the back. I'm gonna speed up the video. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five blocks all the way to the back and then dig out the entire area behind your chest. This is so we can add in the redstone for our auto sorting system. All right, guys, so once you've dug out your five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, we can start doing some of the redstone. So come back over here to where the front of our build is. And we're going to take out our hoppers and go into sneak and or crouch mode. And we're going to place a hopper off of the back of the top one right here. And then off the bottom one, we're going to place it over here and do that on every single one. So up, down, up, down, making a zigzag of hoppers going all the way down to the end end now right above the hoppers that are on the bottom chest we're going to place another hopper going into the tops of them like this there we go all the way down till we reach the end next up we're going to take out some dark oak staircases so take out dark oak staircases and we're going to place dark oak staircases normally right above all of these chests so place them right above every single chest dark oak staircases all the way to the end and then going into the staircases place more hoppers going into the staircases like that Next up, we're going to come to the backhand side of the hoppers, the furthest away from our entrance. And we're going to place a hopper off the side of this block and then follow that hopper in sneak mode going all the way down off the back of that one. So go all the way down off the back of that hopper like this till you reach the end. They should all be going into each other until you reach the end hopper right here. So as you can see, all the notches are going that way. Now what this is, is just a line of hoppers to bring our items through so they get funneled down into our auto sorting system. Now it's time we did some redstone. So right here off of the middle hopper, we're going to place a block like that. Then coming out of the middle hopper, place a redstone comparator going that way. Place a block in front of your redstone comparator. Then we're going to place a block down from that redstone comparator like this. A block down, place two pieces of redstone on both those blocks. Place a repeater coming out of the bottom block like that. Place a block up in front of it. And then go ahead and place a redstone torch off the side of that block like so. And we're going to do that on every single one of these every single one so just place a lot now from this one just place a line of blocks going all the way down like this all the way to the last one place redstone torches off the side of every single one of them like that it's gonna be the same thing guys all the way down that's why i said it's so easy to bring this out as far as you want because it's just going to be the same thing over and over again place repeaters going into all those blocks not comparators repeaters going into all the blocks then place blocks right behind your repeaters Place redstone behind your blocks. Next up, place another line of blocks above those repeaters. Place redstone above those blocks. Place blocks in front of them. Place another row of blocks right here above all the redstone torches. And then go ahead, take out your comparators and place comparators going into all of them. And guys, just the same thing over and all the, way, all the way down to the absolute end. And like I said, if you want to make it much, much bigger so you can sort more items instead of just this money, you can keep going down and down and down as far as you want. Same thing over and over again. Now all you have to do is just fill up each chest with what you want inside of them. So go into the hopper next to the staircase, next to the staircase, that hopper right there next to the staircase, and you're going to fill it in with whatever you want. So let's say I want my first chest like I did over there to be dirt. Just go inside this hopper, place in four pieces of dirt, one, two, three, and four. And then off this one, we're going to place in 19 pieces of dirt. So place in 19 pieces of dirt like that and one should funnel down so you should have a total of 18 pieces of dirt and four dirt over here and then if you want to just throw in the rest just go ahead and just place in the top row of dirt right here and it should keep funneling down into here and going into your first chest like that so there is all my dirt funneling down into my first chest and then what i like to do is i like to take out an item frame 
and then let's take out one more piece of dirt go right off of the left hand side of it go into crouch mode place it in place your dirt and there is our dirt chest and do that for every single one of them so the next hopper right here is going to be for this bottom chest so let's say i wanted to make a cobblestone like my other one so let me go ahead and just take out 64 cobblestone go inside this hopper right here take out my cobblestone place in four one two three four and then place in like i said 19 over here so just place it until you have 19 of them like that perfect and then just go over here to the first hopper place in the rest of your cobblestone if you really like to and it should funnel down into the bottom chest and that's going to be our cobblestone chest and i keep getting rid of all my cobblestone and dirt so now i have to take out more and then i just have to place it and do that for every single one of them but we're going to go ahead and now put in the chest up here so it will funnel in all of our items down to over here so we don't actually have to come inside of our base all right, guys, so now I'm back at the top of where my secret entrance is, and right across from it is where the chest is going to be going. So we're going to break these two blocks, and this is where our chest is going to be going. Make sure that you have either staircase or something above this chest, or else you won't be able to go inside of it. So I usually like to place a staircase of some sort right above it like that, and right here as well, like that. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and enter this chest. So now this part might seem difficult, but all we have to do is just bring a hopper line going over to the hoppers from this chest. So let's go ahead and just dig out the blocks right underneath our chest now. So we're going to dig out these blocks and these blocks. We want to make sure that we can see right underneath our chest over here. And we're going to go find that hopper line. So now just start digging out blocks all the way down to over here. We should be able to find our hopper line eventually. I might have to dig in one more from here. So the up there is our wall right there. We just got to find that hopper line, which is right over here. There it is. So all we have to do is just bring our hoppers from here up to that chest. Very, very simple, guys. Nothing to it. So all we have to do is just, like I said, go right underneath this chest. I'm going to place in a line of hoppers. Let me go ahead and use a night vision potion again. So right underneath the closest part of our chest right here, place in a hopper and just bring from this hopper going down into that hopper right over here. So let's go like that. And then just bring a line out right here, right here, and just go all the way down until we reach over here uh there might be some stuff over here for this wall so let's just bring it in one more just to make sure that nothing gets uh completely messed up so actually right underneath your chest let's go ahead and come over one more so place a block right here place the hopper going into it from underneath the chest and now just bring your hopper line going down into that one right there so come all the way down and then just bring it down right from that hopper as well so boop boop just like that so now if let's say i throw in dirt let's go ahead and just take out 64 dirt so you can see it funneling in go right in here place in my dirt as you see it's funneling down and should go all the way down into my dirt chest right over here and as you can see my dirt is getting filled up super easy to build guys nothing to it and then right over here we can actually hide up all this stuff right here with some more blocks like that so now we can't see back there next up we're going to go ahead and take out our spruce wood once again and we're just going to make a line of spruce wood going all the way down this top area to hide up all those hoppers like that and then we're going to go ahead and place in another line of spruce wood over here. <laughs> throw a night vision potion on myself once again. And then throw in another line of spruce wood right here as well to hide up all of that. Then we're going to take out our dark oak planks once again. And place dark oak planks right here at the front. Giving it a little bit more of depth all the way down like so. There we go. And there is our auto sorting system. And like I said, if you want to add in more stuff, it's super easy to do. All you do is come right here. Let's go ahead and break these blocks. But all you have to do is go into the hopper that's next to the staircase. Go into the hopper next to the staircase and then just fill in what you want in here. So um, let's say I want sand inside this one. Place four sand. Then all we have to do is just place in 19 sand right here. 17, 18, 19 sand. And then, of course, we could take out our item frame. Place our item frame off our top chest right here. Place in our sand block right here. And then just go into one of the hoppers that are further away from our sand block and just place in the rest right here like that. And it should funnel right into our sand chest. So there you guys have it. It'll be funneling in. Right now it's going into a trap chest. So it will turn it on and off every time I go into it. But as you can see, boom, there's more sand in it. If I let it close, boom, there's more sand in it. It's working absolutely fine. And like I said, if you want to keep filling it up, just go into the hoppers behind the staircases and fill in whatever you'd like. All right, guys, next up, we're going to fill in this side of the wall. This has our auto armor equipper, and I also want to get this done so I can put in the ceiling so I don't have to keep using these night vision potions. They're super duper annoying. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to come up our spruce wood one away from here, like that, all the way to the top, like that. And same thing over here, all the way to the top, like so, all the way at the corner. Next, just bring a line of spruce, one down from the ceiling, connecting both of them together. And then we're going to make a three by three spacing on both sides. So we need a three by three spacing. So one, two, three, and then just bring your spruce wood going down. And there's our first three by three. And then come over to this side and do the same thing. Come out three blocks from it, making a three by three spacing like that. So there we have a three by three, a three by three, and a two by three right in the middle of it. Next up, go ahead and take out your dark oak planks once again and place dark oak planks going right down this entire section, cutting off the top of that ceiling. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take out some stone brick. 
And we're also going to need some stone slabs. So right here, disconnecting these two, we're going to place in stone slabs. There we go. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. Delete these three birch wood and place in stone slabs. Now on both of these sides, we're going to dig in at least three blocks. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then just dig out this entire area, digging back three blocks. Like that. There we go. All the way to the back. And then we're going to dig out one more block up here as well. Now we're going to make this entire inside area stone. The wall and the ceiling is all going to be stone. You don't have to actually worry about the ceiling. Don't worry about the ceiling. Just do the walls right now with your stone brick. There we go. And then the ceiling's actually going to have slabs on it. I completely forgot about that. The ceiling will have slabs on it. So we're going to place in all of this like that. There we go. And then place slabs going around the whole entire outside of your build. And then right in the middle, we're going to dig up one block, take out sea lanterns, place a sea lantern right in the middle. You can use actually any lighting source that you want. It doesn't matter. And then we're also going to go ahead and put in a trap door right in top of that sea lantern. And that's where our anvil is going to be going. Then right here in each corner, we're going to take out some cobblestone. I'm going to place cobblestone right here, here, and here like that. And make sure the rest of it is stone. And now we're going to go ahead and take out our anvil and place in our anvil. And this is just going to be our simple anvil room like that. And there is our anvil room. Next up, we're going to do the same thing we did over there. But over here, we're just going to dig back three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then do the same thing with the wallings. Change the walling out with stone. And make sure you dig up at least one more from the top right here as well. So dig up one more. And now replace all the walling with stone brick. And then for the ceiling, place in your slabs. Dig up one block, place your sea lantern in, and your wooden trap door. All right, guys, so now it's time to get started on the auto armor equippers. Come right here to the middle of the room and dig down two blocks, one, two. And we're going to be placing a dispenser right down inside of this hole. So pick out a dispenser and place your dispenser facing straight upwards like so. Then right next to your dispenser, dig down two blocks, take out a hopper, and place a hopper going right into the side of that dispenser by going into crouch mode and placing it in. So now when we throw an item through that, it should go right inside of your dispenser. Then right above that hopper, we're going to place in a block, place in a rail. Make sure your rail is facing side to side like that, and then place in your minecart with a hopper, break the block, and let your minecart with a hopper fall into place. Make sure to take the rail out of the dispenser if it does fall inside of it. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take out some stone bricks. Place a stone brick right above that minecart with a hopper. Next up, go ahead and place a piston facing downwards into that block like that. And if it is to one too high, just place another block right here. And then just send power to that piston, pushing the block inside the minecart with a hopper. So now we can no longer see it. So when I throw an item right here at this block, it will go right through it and then go right inside of our dispenser. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take out our slabs once again and place our slab right above our dispenser so we can no longer see it. And then place a lever right on top of this block. That will lock the hopper when we have our armor inside of it. Next up, coming out of the left-hand side of our dispenser, we're going to dig down two blocks right here. And we're just going to dig out this whole area right like this. So just dig out this entire area so you can see everything like this. Then right over here, we're just going to place a piece of stone so we can no longer see that minecart with a hopper. Now coming out of our dispenser, we're going to place in a redstone comparator. Then we're going to place a repeater coming out of the comparator. Place a block in front of the repeater. And then we're going to place in three pieces of redstone right back here, connecting back into that comparator. Then we're going to place in a piece of redstone here, a piece of redstone here. And then we're going to place in a repeater going into the block next to our dispenser. So now when we throw items inside of it like that, as you can see, they will just start popping out of our dispenser. However, if we want the items to stay inside the dispenser, just flip down the lever. And now we can throw in as many items as we want and they will stay in there. And then once we want to get them, click up the lever and then it will dispense all the items back into our inventory. And that's how the entire thing works. So now we're just going to go ahead and take out our stone once again, our stone brick once again, and we're going to fill in the rest of the flooring. So stone brick here, here and here and stone on the outer edges and there is your auto armor equipper completely done and one last thing to do we're going to go ahead and take out a redstone lamp and place it right off the back so when the redstone lamp is on that means the armor is inside of it and when it's off that means there's no armor inside of it at all so let's go ahead and quickly get rid of everything we're going to go ahead and turn it on so that means the armor will stay inside of it take out some armor so i'm going to go ahead and just take out diamond and a sword as well and we're going to go ahead and throw all that armor in like this boop, 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 all the way down i don't need two booties in there and now if i want to get auto armor equipped just stand here and flip this down and i'll get auto armor equipped boom 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 and boop i get my sword and then when i want to throw my armor back in flip it down take my stuff and then just throw it right back at this hole 
like that and then we can get auto armor equipped once again if we want to and then last but not least what i did was i took out some armor stands i placed an armor stand here an armor stand here and then I placed in two armor sets of iron on both of them. You can choose whatever you want for here. It really doesn't matter. You don't even have to do this. It doesn't change anything. It just makes it look a little bit cooler. Now it's time to put in our infinite water source, our brewing stand, and we're also going to put in our secret room with our bed. So we're going to dig out one block from the middle, and then we're going to go ahead and dig out these four blocks, placing in our water source. That's going to be our infinite water source. If you would like to change the blocks down here, you absolutely can, but you really won't see them. Then right in front of the water, we're going to place in it two upside down stairs like that. So now we can access our infinite water source right here. And then our two brewing stands are going to go right on top of them. Then right above our brewing stands, we're going to place in two wooden trap doors, flip them open. And now we're going to come to the backhand side over here. Let me go quickly take out a night vision potion once again, Boop, like that. And now what we're going to do is just dig out one more block from here. Then off of the backhand side, I placed in two jukeboxes here. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and just place in my two jukeboxes like that. And then off the brewing stand, we're going to go into sneak mode. And then we're going to place a painting backwards off our brewing stand. So placing your painting backwards off your brewing stand. Try to get a two by two spacing painting. So hopefully I get one real quick. There we go. And that's going to be our secret entrance and exit into our bedroom. Now we can go ahead and place any blocks down here. It really doesn't matter. And then we're going to place our bed off of this block right here like this, placing your bed. And then we're going to dig up and make sure our ceiling is one more higher for our bed. Then right off this back wall, we're going to go ahead and take out some stone bricks. And we're going to place in stone bricks right here. And then right above it, we're going to place in stone brick stairs upside down so we can access our ender chest. So take out an ender chest, place it right here. Take out your stone brick stairs. So stone brick stairs right here. Come right up here and place in your stone brick stairs normal or upside down. So I'm going to come back one more right here. And we're going to place in a few lighting source blocks back here. But there we go. So now we can access this. And then right back here, we're going to go ahead and place in just a few more lighting by placing in sea lanterns like that, like that. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and place in a creeper head, a uh, skeleton head, whatever you want, just to add in a little bit more. And then I had those item frames up there, but we're not going to worry about that. And there is our secret little bedroom. And we can close this so maybe no one will know anything is there. All right, guys. So next up is going to be our enchantment table room. So what I like to do for this one is just come straight from the middle walk all the way across and then we're going to dig in four blocks from here so one two three four and then place your enchantment table there now around this enchantment table we're basically going to need a seven by seven spacing so we're gonna go one two three this way one two three this way and then go in seven blocks so one two three four five six seven like that same thing on this side. If you want to just go ahead and just dig out this entire area all the way to the back, absolutely can go ahead and do that. It'll just make things a little bit easier on us. And we're just going to need a seven by seven spacing. And then you can also dig out the ceiling a little bit more so your head's not hitting the top because that is obviously not fun. <laughs> I always like having my ceilings at least three blocks high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig up four more blocks from here. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, all the way up until we reach that top area of our build. All right, guys, so now we're going to dig out the area for our bookcases and our sticky pistons. So we're going to need sticky pistons. We are going to need some bookcases. And then I like to take out three different color blocks. You don't have to do this, but it's just nice to separate everything. So I'm going to go ahead and make my colors. I'm just going to do what I did over there, red, yellow, and blue. And we're also going to need some redstone. We're going to need a redstone repeater and levers. Now what we're going to do is dig out the area for our bookshelves. So normally with your enchantment table, you're going to have bookshelves going around like this for your enchantment table. Now, if you don't want to build this, you don't have to. You can just set it up like that and you are completely done. But if you want the different levels of enchantments, just follow along. So right where we have to put our bookshelves, we're just going to dig down two blocks from each one of these spots. So one, two, and place a sticky piston like that. So everywhere where the bookshelf is supposed to go, we're going to dig down two and add in sticky pistons. I'm going to go ahead and just remove these because we already know where they have to go. And we're just going to go one, two, sticky piston. One, one, two, sticky piston, all the way around the entire thing. One, two, sticky piston. One, two, sticky piston. One, two, sticky piston. That was one, two, match. <laughs> one, two, sticky piston, all the way around until we reach the end part right over. So where the bookshelves were supposed to go, we just dug down two and added sticky pistons. Next up, we're going to take out our bookshelves and place them right along the tops of our sticky pistons. Now we're going to add in the different block choices. And this is actually not supposed to be red, that uh, blue. This one's supposed to be green. I don't, I don't know why I picked uh, that one. So the first set of ones where the green ones are going to be going is right back here. So what I want you to do is dig down two blocks, one, two, so you can see your sticky pistons. And we're going to place a line of blocks and then place redstone right along those blocks like that. 
Then over here, we're going to dig down two to around these sticky pistons. And this one's going to be the yellow one. So dig it around all the way around it. So you can see every sticky piston like that. And we're going to bring a line of blocks going all the way around like this. And then stop at this one because this one's already being activated by that line. And we're going to add redstone right along this entire area. I'm going to do the same thing over here as well. Dig down two so you can see every one of your sticky pistons. Just make sure you stop at that last sticky piston because this one's already activating it. And place in your blocks going right along it. And then place in your redstone going right along that as well. So now you don't have to use separate colors here. I just made it look like a street light for some reason, but I'm going to go ahead and do with the same thing I did over there. It's just green, yellow, and red, and kind of like a street light. So this one is going to activate the back ones alone. So it's going to activate one through 10. So it's going to activate our level 10 enchants. And then for our level 20 enchants, we're going to have to dig out a little bit more and add in some redstone. So we're going to come right back here, just dig out a little bit more. We don't have to dig out too much. Let's just come out uh, two extra blocks and then just dig out this area. You don't have to come out that much. And then we're going to go ahead and hook up the middle one to the yellow line right over there. We have to make sure that it activates every single one of them. So we're just going to come out a block from the yellow like that, placing redstone like this, come out one more block, place in redstone. And now just bring this line going down. And then we're going to come down one more right here. Make sure you come down and then bring it all the way over to that line and then hook up your redstone like this. Now, we don't want these two hooking up. So place a block right here. And now this one is going to be level 20. So if we place it all over here, it will activate that whole row for level 20. See how this one only activates the back row. And then this one will activate both rows for level 20. And now for number three, we need them to activate every single row. So coming out of this one, we're going to place a block. And then a repeater coming out of the block with a block in front of it like that. So that will activate those two over there. And now all we have to do is just bring our line of redstone like we did over here. Just the same exact thing to over here. So let's just dig out a few more blocks like that. There we go. And then just bring our line of redstone down, down. Come all the way down. Make sure you come all the way. So we can put that block right above here and disconnect them. And then just bring our redstone up. And then make sure you disconnect these two. So there we have it. So this is going to be level 10 in chance. Then this one's going to be level 20 in chance. And then this one right here is going to be level 30 enchants, which is all of them. Then what I did was I took out some redstone lamps. This just lets you know which ones are on. So redstone lamps. And then place your redstone lamps right behind where those levers are. So redstone lamp, 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 and lamp. So now when we flip this down, the lamp will come on. Now what we're going to do is clean up this area. So we're going to take out some spruce wood. And we're going to place a line of spruce wood going up like this. One, two, three. Same thing over here. One, two, three. Actually, I might have cut it. No, no. And then we place in three like that. And that's going to be the back wall. And now we're going to take out some blue hardened clay and place blue hardened clay right around this area like that. And the same thing on this side. Bring it right out like that. And then come up three blocks. Three blocks. Same thing on this side. Come up three blocks. Three blocks. And then we're just going to come out this way. One more block. One more block on this side. Take out your spruce wood, and we're going to make a little spruce wood door frame right here like that. There we go. So this is going to be the entrance into our enchantment room. And then we're going to go ahead and quickly take out some dark oak planks and fill in the top area with our dark oak planks. There we go. Fill in this whole area with your dark oak planks. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then we're going to take out some sea lanterns and place a sea lantern on all four sides. Go ahead and take out regular oak wood. And then place your oak wood right around this entire area and then fill it all the way in till you reach the outside and there's going to be your enchantment room so there's your level 10 enchants your level 20 enchants and last but not least your level 30 enchant and i actually almost forgot guys we have to add in those few chests over here for the items that aren't supposed to be going into our sorting system i completely forgot about that so we're all we're going to need is just some chests and we're going to need some hoppers as well. So take out some hoppers. And we're just going to bring the line of hoppers over to these chests. So we're going to place in three chests right here. One, two, three. Then we're going to come to the backhand side over here. Dig down so you can see that last chest. And we're going to place a hopper going right into the back of it. Just jump up and throw it right into the back of it. Same thing. Jump up, throw it in the back. Jump up, throw it in the back. Like that. And we're just going to dig out this area so you can see every single hopper is facing into the back of that chest. And now what we have to do is just dig out till over here. And we have to bring this hopper right into the side of that one right there. Very, very easy. But boop, 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 and then boop. And there we have it. So now any items that don't belong in our sorting system will drop down into those chests right there. And let me go ahead and get out of there. And I'm going to go, maybe I'll throw a light or two back here. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw in some sea lanterns so we can get some light back here as well. So boop, and we'll throw a light source right there like that. And then we'll put our spruce wood back in right here. 
and there we go there is our chest and if you notice i actually changed it up a little bit from the older one i kind of felt like the indentation into the wall looked a lot better than it was over there so <laughs> this looks just a ton better to me and we're gonna go ahead and change this over to blue as well so let's go ahead and just take out our blue hardened clay again change this over to blue hardened clay like that all the way to the top and we're gonna go ahead and just place all blue hardened clay yeah let's just do that blue hardened clay across the whole entire thing i think that indentation just looks a lot better than it didn't look without it so let's place in a few more chests right here take out your dark oak planks and place your dark oak planks going right around this area hiding up all your stuff and i think that wall looks a lot better than the older wall all right guys so last but not least is going to be the ceiling and this part's going to be a little bit harder than you guys actually think so what we're going to be doing is every single corner light that we have and then we're going to go ahead and do the pattern for the top because that's just going to make it the easiest way to do it so basically on each corner we're going to take out jungle wood slabs and right in the middle of our jungle wood slabs on each corner is going to be a hang down light right here and we're going to need some spacing to see it so just don't place in these three just make sure you place in a v-shape like that just so you can see everything and what's going on then coming down from it we're going to come down at least three blocks like that break these two blocks then place a wither skeleton skull facing backwards like this off the top of that block and then remove the block next up we're going to dig up a block and then right on top of it we're going to place in an armor stand facing from the middle onto the wither skeleton skull like so now we're gonna have to dig up right above it this is where i say it's going to be a little bit harder than you thought initially so to start things off place a piston up here with a wooden trapdoor in front of it and then send power to the piston then we're going to place a redstone lamp right above that send power to the piston and then we're going to place in a redstone block and that's going to be everything for each individual drop down lamp and then all we have to do is just place in our slabs like that and we're gonna have to do that for every single one of them same thing on each corner so we're going to place in our jungle slabs like this like a nice little v-shape then we're going to come down three blocks from the middle one two three like that break these two take out your wither skeleton skull face it in backwards then from the center we're going to place in our armor stand right on top of it make sure to break that block down there then right above the armor stand we're going to come up at least three blocks place in your piston with a wooden trap door on top of it send power place in your redstone lamp send power and then place in your redstone block break the piston if you want it back and then just go ahead and place in your slabs right around it like so and we're going to do that on these two corners as well so place in your v-shape right here like that then we're going to go three blocks down one two three break these two place your wither skeleton skull in backwards like that oh like that there we go break a block right above it come to the center make sure you're in the center place in your armor stand right above it break the block underneath it then right above it we're going to come up at least three blocks placing in your piston then we're going to place a trap door power it redstone lamp power it and then redstone lamp i mean a uh, redstone block right there and then we'll go ahead and place in the rest of your wooden slabs there we go around it and we have one more to do in this corner so v-shape again with your jungle slabs then we're going to come down three blocks one two three break these two blocks take out your wither skeleton skull place it in backwards like that then right above the armor stand come up two blocks well three actually sorry and then place in a piston wooden trap door send power place in your redstone lamp send power and then go ahead and place in a redstone block right here and there we have it that's going to be all drop down lights for each individual part then we're going to take out our slabs and come right along the center with your slabs all the way down to the end next up what i want you to do is take out your dark oak planks and go around each individual lamp with dark oak planks like that around your jungle slabs do that around every single one of them like this and like this i know it's a weird it's a weird combination but i think it looks really really cool and i'm gonna get rid of that right there and since i changed up my design just a tiny bit at the beginning we're gonna make a little uh change to the top of these lights as well we're gonna hook these two together and then in this three by three area we're gonna put in lamps across the entire thing so dig up two blocks on all of them just dig up two blocks on all of them and then we're gonna place in redstone blocks right along all the top like so then we're gonna place in our redstone lamps and then place in your trap doors right in front of them like that and there we go perfect that looks really really sweet and we just got to do it on this side as well come up two blocks one two one two one two across the entire thing place in your redstone blocks place in your redstone lamps and then go ahead and place in your trap doors and that's going to be the ceiling for the inside and then what i also like to do is right here is place in another one by placing in a redstone lamp right here and then a trap door right here as well and then I come over here to this side and do one more right here as well. Up two, there, boom, and boom. And there is way more than enough lighting inside this entire build. 
and now there's only one more thing to do and that is just to finish up our entrance so coming right underneath where our chest is we're going to take out our normal spruce wood once again and we're going to place spruce wood coming down from that chest all the way down to the bottom make sure you have a three high ceiling make sure you have a three high ceiling place one more piece right here and then on the inside we're going to take out some spruce uh dark stairs dark oak stairs and we're going to place in dark oak wood stairs here and one upside down right here like that there we go and then we're going to take out a sea lantern and place a sea lantern right here like this and do the same thing on this side staircase here staircase here and then place your sea lantern in like that and then if you want to i actually didn't do this in the other build as well you could take out a trap door and place a trap door right in front of those sea lanterns that might look really good as well so let's see yep that looks really really good and then right here we're going to place in a few more pieces of spruce to finish up the entire build so spruce here here and here same thing on this side here here and here and there is the entire build completely done guys here is your whole underwater base you have your auto sorting system we have our enchantment room we have our armor equipper we have our anvil we have our secret room into our little thing we get rid of that we don't know we need that there and then get in and out super super simple and then and then we also have our auto sorting system right up here so we can throw some items in there and then when we're ready to leave just jump up and go right through the water like nothing is there but there you guys have it. that is how you build an undetectable underwater base if you enjoyed this video make sure to do like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace